Hi there, Chrissy here at A Little Glam, A Lot of Mom. Thanks for being here today for a December day in the life video. Here are some of my favorite morning views as I make my way over to coffee. Today is my rest day from the gym. I know in the last day in the life it was a gym night, uh, but today I will be home. So on rest days, I do like to get a good morning stretch in. And my Louis always joins me on the mat. So today is Muffin Day, and it's actually a Monday, so it's Muffin Monday. The evening before, my teen daughter baked her infamous cranberry and orange zest homemade muffins. These are our absolute favorite this time of year. Spread of fruits and yogurts and her muffins, and the kids just help themselves. While everyone is eating and taking their hour of whatever brings them joy, I have to tackle laundry. We had family in town all weekend for some holiday fun, and while I kept up with the washing and drying, I did not do that with the folding. So at least I get to fold with a view. It's about 11 a.m. and it's finally time for me to break fast. So I have water, my muffin, fruits, my second cup of coffee, and I'm going to sit down on my chair and get started with our reading for the day, our Advent devotional, and our current read aloud. I want to share this book that is new to us and we've been reading through it every day for our Christmas Around the World studies. This is Christmas is Coming Traditions from Around the World. One review said that it's for the young armchair traveler, and I can't agree more. This book is a stunningly gorgeous and informative book that captures the smells, the taste, legends, religious, and secular traditions of the holiday. It's combined with interesting historical facts like the first glass ornament, the custom of decorating the main squares of towns and how that came from the Rockefeller Center in New York, and how the Christmas Carol Silent Night was composed, just to name a few. This is a true holiday feast for the eyes, mind, and heart as this book embodies and celebrates the spirit of Christmas. I dare say, and this is a bold statement, that this book is my favorite multicultural children's Christmas book. We've gotten lost in page after page. I mean, you know how much I love geography and cultural studies. You should also know by now how much I love these books with matte pages and good quality paper. I also appreciate that this extends to traditions beyond Christmas, like Three Kings Day and New Year celebrations around the world. So we'll be sure to open this up beyond Christmas time and through the New Year. I love these few pages on Christmas plants. I feel like that was put into this book just for me. 
Today we're going to reference to the few pages on St. Lucia Day, or also known as the Festival of Lights in Sweden. For today, I've also printed off a coloring page from Hearth Magic. I'm sure you recognize the beautiful art by now. For handwriting today, Bella will be doing a copy work uh, worksheet from the Hearth Magic Nutcracker Study Companion along with a math worksheet for review. If she has time, I'd like her to move on uh, to finish this project and so she used watercolor pencils uh, for this nutcracker so she still has to blend it and then we're going to label the parts of a nutcracker doll. For Noah I've uh, prepared a clipboard with similar things except his handwriting is tracing. And the same for my Luna except that instead of a math worksheet she will be using the Nutcracker inspired math flashcards from Amber at Hearth Magic paired with loose parts for numeracy review. So you guys, we've been the Nutcracker obsessed. I'm going to insert a few clips of the past few days and a performance the kids put on for their grandparents last weekend. It was a whole production with costume design, music, and a cast. Last week, we studied the history and the origin of the original Nutcracker doll. And so we opened up our atlas to Germany. Uh, Bella created this map and copied a few of the geographical locations. We read and watched videos about Christmas markets. We learned other traditions like the pickle ornament in the tree. Uh, we tried marzipan for the first time. It's been a super fun Christmas around the world so far. Another project that we worked on uh, was this Nutcracker inspired board game. So this is the second board game that we create this year and it's been such a fun experience both times. There are countless learning opportunities in this project like math in creating the board and equal spaces or in the game itself of course. Uh, design innovation, developing the concepts and rules, and of course there's creativity and imaginative thinking in creating a theme and characters. The game concept is open-ended so that it can be modified for multiple skill levels. We started with simple addition and subtraction for the youngest to keep up. I also sprinkled in even and odd and doubles spaces for extra math practice. So for example, if they land on and roll even space, then they get to roll their die again. If the sum equals to an even number, then they get to move that number of spaces. We cut out beautiful art clips from the Hearth Magic The Nutcracker Study Companion as our game pieces. The board was created with 
watercolor pencils. Our Arteza watercolor pencil set is our favorite. We designed Present Avenue, Toy Soldier Land, Gingerbread Man Forest, and my personal favorite is Peppermint Lane. And I had a request on Instagram to show how we made it, these cinnamon stick nutcracker dolls. So here's a clip of how we made them. You'll need a hot glue gun and stick, twine or some sort of string to hang your ornament, paint brushes, acrylic paint, we're using Arteza acrylic paint, and cinnamon sticks, you'll need four for each ornament. So you'll need to paint one as the top of the body. So the hat, head, torso, and belt included. The next cinnamon stick will be the legs and boots, and then two arms. So the shoulder, pads, arms, or sleeves, and hands. We made red, blue, and yellow suits, and some of the other colors that you'll need are black, gold for the shoulder pads and some sort of white or skin color for the head and hands. Hot glue the top of the body to the lower part of the body and then both arms. Finally, whatever you're using to hang the ornament, you want to hot glue that on there as well. You may want to write the year on it uh, for keepsake. And these make great handmade gifts, maybe for grandparents, for friends, and they smell wonderful. I mentioned in my wrap and chat video about our Christmas jammies tradition, and so I thought I'd share a peek of our Christmas jammies this year. They're called Reindeer Good Tidings by Hearth and Hand at Target. I was only able to find these online. I love the print. It has a little bit of the, I think it's called Fair Isle uh, type of pattern, which is a traditional style of knitting or technique used in Scotland. Love this hunter green trim on the neck uh, with the nice quality buttons and the same trim on the wrists and ankles. And the best part about these are the butt flap, super cute. The clasps are also really nice quality, not plastic. And so the kids pajamas are the same print, same style, uh, except it is a traditional two piece long sleeve and pants. I think it's a good thing that the kids don't have a butt flap. Goodness, can you imagine? They'd probably attempt to use the toilet while wearing these. So we did have uh, a late start to our school day because of the morning chores and the laundry. We're having a super late lunch today, um, but I wanted to show you one of our favorite lunches. Uh, so today I just happened to have leftover chicken from some chicken tacos I made for dinner last night. What I do is I stew quarter legs and I shred the chicken into a nice saute of fresh green peppers, onions, garlic, tomato, lots of fresh ingredients. I mixed uh, the chicken with veggie refried beans, so minus the lard. And so now I'm going to use this leftover chicken for chicken quesadillas. But even on the days that I don't have chicken, the kids love these just with like two types of cheese. Normally the cheese that you would want to use is like a Monterey Jack or a Cotija cheese, but I only have cheddar on hand. Either way, sprinkle some tahine in there and the kids love this lunch. And while I love quesadillas, the dairy doesn't love me and so I'm going for a taco salad instead. And while we were having lunch, we noticed through the kitchen window uh, a pod of dolphins hunting and feeding. And it was such a beautiful day out that we decided to drop everything and run across the street to play in the sand for the rest of the afternoon.
By the time we made it back home, it was early evening time. The good thing is that I prep dinner around lunchtime. I prep at least a quarter to half of it, and so that gives me a head start. We love soups and stews uh, during winter time, and so this is a lentil soup with lots of fresh veggies. I add sausage for flavor and potatoes. Some of us eat it as is, and the kids do like it over a bed of jasmine rice. But before we sit down for family dinner, I do like to set the mood. And during this time of year, that means all of our holiday twinkling lights and decor. I turn on a faux fireplace on the TV. And this is the only time of year that I personally tune into FM radio, of course, for holiday music. After dinner, it's our bedtime routines, and what that looks like is uh, evening chores that everyone participates in, whether that's cleaning up the kitchen, taking care of some of the pets before bed, and cleaning up our mess from the homeschool day. We move on to showers and self-care. I'm going to sit at my desk for a few minutes and try to edit a bit of a video before I'm settled in uh, for some one-on-one -on -one time with hubby. I mentioned that I'm taking a short break through the end of the year, so this is my last video of the year. I hope that you're having a wonderful winter season so far. Merry Christmas to you and yours if that's what you celebrate. A happy new year, wishing you nothing but wonderful things in 2022. Joy, love, health. God bless you and keep you and know that you are loved.